Hello, welcome to Vedian Bhagavarai. In this video, we are going to see about uh, the bond angle differences for uh, three molecules, H2O, OF2 and OCl2. So the question is, predict the bond angles for the following molecules. Uh, this is a very popular question in all the competitive examinations. Uh, so we will discuss uh, these three molecules and then compare their bond angles and we will find out the reason for their differences in bond angles in this video. So let's first take water. So water we all know has a sp3 hybridization and a bond angle of 104 degree. So because it is having a bond angle of 104 degree because it is having a tetrahedral geometry and it has two lone pairs of electrons we know the bond angle is 104. So the, this uh, two lone pairs of electrons have a bigger repulsion than the bond pairs of electrons and uh, this we have studied in BACPR theory wherein we see lone pair lone pair repulsion is more than lone pair bond pair repulsion which is more than bond pair bond pair repulsion. So in case of water molecule we see the electron density of this oxygen hydrogen bond being more uh, localized towards the oxygen atom because oxygen is more uh, electronegative than hydrogen atom. So all the electron densities are toward oxygen atom. So you see the dipole is more toward oxygen atom and as a result there is more electron density on oxygen and that is the reason why um, there is a delocalized sorry there is a you know a repulsion between the two lone pairs of electrons which we see in this case and so uh, the bond angle is 104 which is less than that of the uh, bond angle of a tetrahedral geometry which is 109. So now let us discuss what will happen to the bond angles of OF2 and uh, Cl2 because uh, we know again this is similar to that of H2O. So uh, but then when we see the bond angles we see the bond angle of OF2 is 103 and then that of Cl OCl2 is 110. So uh, what we would have expected was the bond angle should be uh, quite similar to that of water but Surprisingly, what we see here is uh, OF2 is having a lesser bond angle than uh, water and Cl2 is having a higher bond angle than water. So now we are going to see why do we have this condition. So let's discuss OF2 first. So when you see the OF2 molecule, we know fluorine atom is the most electronegative atom in the periodic table. Uh, and uh, so the electron density of the fluorine atom uh, will uh, uh, will be more on fluorine itself or in other words when you are having an oxygen fluorine bond the electrons which are part of the bond will be more toward the fluorine atom because fluorine is more electronegative than oxygen. So because fluorine is more electronegative than oxygen the electron density if you see in this image is more on fluorine whereas when you compare with water it is more on oxygen. So this shift of electron density of fluorine um, toward fluorine atom can be shown by the dipole moment. So we see the dipole moment of OF bond is toward fluorine atom and because it is toward fluorine atom this particular oxygen fluorine bond ha appears as though the electrons of oxygen are not on oxygen. In other words uh, the lone pair of electrons on oxygen atom are free to be as um, you know uh, 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 as much as possible and as a result they uh, behave or they show higher repulsion. So because they show higher repulsion these two bond pairs are shrinked the fluorine oxygen bonds are shrinked and as a result we see the bond angle changes from 104 to 103 degree. So the reason for fluorine uh, or OF2 behaving uh, in a different way or the bond angle of OF2 is less than that of H2O is because of the electronegativity of the fluorine atom which favors the electron density to shift toward fluorine atom and as a result the bond pair bond pair repulsion between the OF bonds is decreased when compared to the lone pair lone pair repulsions. So the lone pair lone pair repulsions becomes higher and as a result you see the bond angle becomes lesser. That is why we see 
OF2 has a lesser bond angle than H2O. Now let us see Cl2, so OCl2. So the logic that would come to our mind is because this is also an electronegative element, uh, which is more electronegative than hydrogen atom, we would expect a similar trend for OCl2 too. But on the contrary, we see that OCl2 has a higher bond angle than water. So uh, what could be the reason? So the reason is, again, the electron density that is between the OCl bond. So this electron density between the OCl bond is can you see is evenly distributed between the oxygen and chlorine atom and further the size of chlorine atom is bigger than that of hydrogen atom or fluorine atom so because the size is bigger we see a steric repulsion happening between the larger chlorine atoms and as a result the bonds are expanded out besides this we see the electron density um, uh, being quite evenly distributed. And because chlorine has a vacant d orbital, so this is a vacant d orbital of chlorine, wherein the lone pair of electrons can be withdrawn by the chlorine atom, uh, the, there is more possibility of uh, the lone pair, lone pair repulsion becoming lesser. So the question here is, is the lone pair, lone pair repulsion more or less? So in fluorine, we said these lone pair, lone pair repulsions become higher, forcing the bond angles to shrink. Whereas in this case, because of this electron density shift toward the chlorine atom and the availability of vacant d orbital of the chlorine, the electron density on the oxygen atom is also shifting toward chlorine atom and added on we see the size of chlorine being bigger the bond length becoming bigger to accommodate the bulky size of the chlorine atom and as a result we see the bond angle increases so the bond angle of OCl2 is higher than that of H2O so this is what I meant. So the donation of the lone pair of oxygen on the vacant orbital and steric hindrance causes the bigger size. So comparing all these three, we see the bond angle of OF2 is the least, then H2O, then we have OCl2. Hope you all understood the differences in bond angles so we cannot blindly say because it is sp3 hybridized and because all of them are having a bent geometry they will have similar bond angles but we must also look into other factors such as electronegativity of the element and the bulkiness or the steri factor of the element to explain bond angles thank you